Russell Westbrook is the fastest player in the NBA. Steph Curry is the best three-point scorer. Kawhi Leonard is the best defender. Wait, actually, I just lied to you. Those guys were all second place in those categories. I'm about to show you the best NBA player from every major category. Let's begin with height. If you're not subscribed, you're crazy. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1.7 million today. Also hit that notification bell to join Nodi Gang. So every time I upload a fire video, you're not gonna miss it. The tallest player in the NBA. One month ago, the answer was Boban Marjanovic. It was the only thing he was the best at, being tall. But that changed when the Celtics signed Taco Fall. Not only is he the tallest player in the NBA today, but he's the tallest player in NBA history. The shortest NBA player. It's a tie between Isaiah Thomas and Tyler Eulis. According to the NBA, they're both 5 feet 9 inches. But I don't like ties. So let's put them next to each other and see who's really the shortest. It looks like Tyler Eulis is one centimeter shorter, barely shorter. So that makes him the shortest player in the NBA. The best three point scorer in the NBA. So what matters the most? If it's just three point percentage, it would be Joe Harris. He had the highest three point percentage in the NBA. But if we're talking about who shoots the deepest threes, the most difficult threes, then it's Steph Curry because a lot of Joe Harris's shots are wide open and a lot of Steph Curry's threes look like this. Okay, what about catch and shoot percentage? When they're open and it's just a catch and shoot, Joe Harris is 48%, Steph Curry is 44%. He beat Steph Curry in the three-point contest. The best three-point scorer in the NBA is Joe Harris, the fastest player in the NBA. For years, it's been John Wall. He was always the fastest. But since he's gotten hurt, like a lot, he's lost some speed. Right now, in the 2019 NBA season, it's between Russell Westbrook and De'Aaron Fox. They literally raced each other during the game. And Westbrook won the race. During the game, Westbrook yelled, I'm too fast. But when you watch the games, De'Aaron Fox is faster with the ball in his hands. I've never seen any NBA player that fast with the ball in his hands. So De'Aaron Fox is the fastest player in the NBA. The slowest player in the NBA. If I made this video a year ago, the answer would be Dirk Nowitzki. But what about Boban Marjanovic? He's a 7'3 monster. He looks like he came out of a movie. But even he's not the slowest. The slowest player in the NBA is... The Marcus Cousins! I'm not even exaggerating. Sometimes it looked like he was moving in slow motion. The best mid-range player. So Joe Harris was the best three-point scorer, but he's not good at mid-range shooting. It's a whole different game. If you look at statistics, it'll say Kevin Durant. KD has the best mid-range numbers in the league. DeMar DeRozan has the next best numbers, just a little bit less. But here's the difference. When you have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson on the court, do you know how much space that makes for you? DeMar DeRozan is the only superstar on the Spurs. He takes contested mid-range jumpers. So even though KD's numbers are a little bit better, I think DeMar DeRozan is easily the best mid-range scorer. The best rebounder. This isn't about who gets the most rebounds. If you're 8 feet tall and you get 10 rebounds, or you're 4 feet tall and you get 10 rebounds, it's a big difference. Andre Drummond averaged 16 rebounds a game, but he gets second place. The best rebounder in the league is Russell Westbrook. For a point guard to average 11 rebounds a game takes crazy skill and athleticism. He's 6 foot 3, only 200 pounds, and gets more rebounds a game than all of these monsters, these seven foot beasts. He's the best. The best player at getting steals. A true stealer plays smart defense and relies on his timing. So it must be Kawhi Leonard, right? Because Kawhi Leonard's one of the best defenders. Actually, if you look at the top five in steals this season, Kawhi Leonard's not even in the top five. 
the best stealer in the NBA is Paul George. He leads the league in steals. He leads the league in deflections. And it's no coincidence that he's one of the best defenders in the league. The best player at getting blocks. Okay, this one is crazy. You're probably thinking of Giannis, Rudy Gobert, and Miles Turner. But it's none of them. Miles Turner averages the most blocks per game, 2.9. But he's not the best. The best blocking player in the NBA is Mitchell Robinson. What? He only plays 20 minutes a game and he averages 2.5 blocks. So if he played 40 minutes a game like a starter, that's five blocks every game. That's one of the most impressive stats I've ever seen. The best passer in the NBA. Does getting the most assists mean you're the best passer? Or does that just mean the rest of your team's really good? If that was the case, the answer would be Russell Westbrook. The best passer isn't even a starter. He's a bench player. It is Rajon Rondo. I have never seen a single human being with more impressive passes. A lot of people will underrate you, Rondo, but I won't. I'm giving you the credit today. The player with the most strength. The strongest player of all time is Shaquille O'Neal. But obviously he's retired. What about Zion? He's only 19 years old, but he's 300 pounds. Ripping the basketball from other players like he's stealing their lunch money. Maybe in a few years, but he's still not the strongest. Because right now, the undebatably strongest player is... Steven Adams! He's literally a superhero. Draymond Green kicked him in the nuts. And it hurt Draymond's foot more than it hurt Steven Adams. The most athletic player in the NBA. Who is just an athletic freak in the NBA? It used to be LeBron when he was younger, but he's too old. There are only two players that are way more athletic than the rest. Russell Westbrook and Giannis. Westbrook is the most explosive. You can't argue that, it's just a fact. The problem is Giannis Antetokounmpo, he is Zion's size with De'Aaron Fox's speed and Russell Westbrook's explosiveness. That's why they call him the Greek Freak, because he's by far the most athletic player in the NBA. The best dunker in the NBA. Blake Griffin, and maybe a few years ago. Oh, oh, it's Zach Levine, of course. He has the third highest vertical in NBA history. Two-time dunk contest champion. It is obviously Zach Levine, the best free throw shooter. Yo, I thought the answer was Steph Curry, like it is every single season. I almost didn't research this because I thought it was so obvious. But for the first time in Lost and Unbound history, I was wrong! Mm. Steph Curry is second place. The best free throw percentage in the league is... Malcolm Brogdon. He has the highest percentage at 92.8%. So far, it's a tough video for Steph Curry. He has not won any of the categories, yet. The heaviest player in the NBA, Boban Marjanovic. Finally, he's won an award. Wait a minute, my producer is telling me that news is old because Taco Fall got drafted and he is the new heaviest player in the NBA. 311 pounds. Bro, he has to be the skinniest 300 pound person ever. He looks as skinny as me, and I'm definitely not 300 pounds. The lightest NBA player. Tyler Eulis, you're the shortest player. Are you gonna be a back-to-back -back champion? Are you the lightest? Nope. Isaiah Thomas? Nope. Somehow, the lightest player is six feet one. It's Dennis Schroeder from the OKC Thunder. He's six one, but only 172 pounds. Him and Russell Westbrook are almost the same height, but look at the difference in muscle. The player that gets the most turnovers. You don't want to win this award. Unfortunately, I gotta give it to my favorite player, Russell Westbrook. His second award of the video. He averages almost five turnovers a game, but you know what? When you average a triple-double, you're allowed to have a few turnovers. The best ball handler in the NBA. It's gotta be Kyrie Irving. There's no competition. 
Look at this move and tell me that's normal. I mean, Kyrie defies gravity during practice. Easily the best ball handler in the league. The best defender in the NBA. There's only two names, Kawhi Leonard and Rudy Gobert. Most people will say Kawhi, but if Kawhi was the best defender, why isn't he winning Defensive Player of the Year? Easily the best defender is Rudy Gobert. He's won that award two years in a row. The best scoring player in the NBA. Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, James Harden. Obviously, it's one of them. Who is the most complete scorer? If it's Game 7 of the NBA Finals and I need one basket, James Harden, 36 points per game. Are you kidding me? 37% from three, one of the best at attacking the basket. One way or another, James Harden will find a way to score. Basketball IQ, J.R. Smith. Last video was one of my favorite videos I've done. Go watch that right now. I'll put it somewhere on the screen for you to click because that video was amazing.